on this Sunday night. I'm Dan Rasko. And I'm Debbie Worthen. Our top story tonight, a Vernal police officer is recovering at a hospital after being shot several times late Saturday night. Chopper 5 giving us a view of the area where it happened here. According to the Uinta County Sheriff's Office, he was shot as soon as he got out of his car on a call. Here's what we know right now. Officers were called to a house near 750 North, near 400 East last night on reports of an intoxicated man threatening his neighbor with a gun. Well, police have identified that man as 27-year-old Rukas R. Curry. They say Curry started shooting at officers as they arrived. That's when the Vernal officer was hit several times, as well as a Uinta County deputy. We're told that deputy has minor injuries. Well, officers shot back and hit Curry, who left the area, but was caught a short time later. They say he was also taken to a hospital where he is now recovering. The police officer who was shot multiple times is also expected to recover. His name right now not being released, but we're told he actually drove himself to a Vernal Hospital after being shot before he was flown to University of Utah Medical Center. News specialist Brianna Chavez joins us from the newsroom tonight with new details on the case. Brianna, you've been pouring over court documents. What have you learned? Yeah, Dan and Debbie, that's right. We know that the suspect in this case had a very extensive criminal history, including time served in prison. Now, court documents revealed charges for assault, theft, possession, DUI, and he's just 27 years old. But we're also learning tonight about the intense exchange, which first prompted police to be called to the scene. A frightening outcome for law enforcement in Vernal. The incident started out at this home on 750 North and 400 East late Saturday night. According to court documents, the suspect, 27-year-old Rukas R. Curry, had an argument with a neighbor about how he had parked his trailer. Curry allegedly pulled out a gun, chambered a round, and pointed the weapon at his neighbor's head. Curry allegedly saying he was not afraid to die or go back to jail. The neighbor's wife heard the interaction play out and called 911. Curry shot at Vernal Police and Uinta County Sheriff's deputies the moment they arrived, hitting one officer several times, leaving him injured. Curry fled the scene, but authorities say he was caught shortly after. Curry is facing eight charges, six of them felonies, including attempted aggravated murder, and it's not his first run-in with the law. KSL learned Curry has an extensive criminal history. One of his higher convictions, assault by a prisoner, a second-degree felony that he pled guilty to back in 2017. Every day when we strap on that badge and go out to work, we, we know the risk, and we know the risk and we still do it anyway. It's a dangerous job. Kevin Murray, president of the Utah Fraternal Order of Police, says this incident serving as a reminder of how difficult the work of law enforcement can be. There's nothing routine about our job except we hope to keep the routine of going home safe and see our family again. And the Utah Fraternal Order of Police did meet with the injured officer and his family at the uh, hospital to offer any help that they needed. And we're told the officer and the suspect, again, are currently being treated, and we're told that both are expected to survive. Lots of new details here, Dan. Back Boy, to you. What a scary situation there. Thanks a lot, Brianna Chavez, live for us tonight. For the latest on breaking news and updates on this story, download the free KSL Plus app. You can get alerts sent straight to your phone. Just scan the QR code you see right there on your screen or download it in your phone's app store.